recording is started perfect so good morning good afternoon good evening uh, depending upon your time zone you have joined us today in this pre conference workshop of returning mothers conference 2022 um myself ramnik and i will be introducing myself more in the next slide uh, today we are going to cover a very specific and uh, very required topic for undergrad students or more often professionals and industrialists who are getting into product management or innovative roles uh, that is design thinking a social innovators toolkit as you know returning mothers conference includes three tracks education empowerment and entrepreneurship track today topic we will be touching the entrepreneurship track more often and specifically the ideathon and pitch fest program uh, which we are executing okay a little bit about me uh, i am an ieee impact creator and i have been interviewed by ieee global team uh, in ieee spectrum that is our monthly magazine um, being a title given to me from an introvert to an ieee influencer and that's what i actually used to love to say that i was also an introvert like many of the people on the call may think okay i don't know i have a fear of stage and uh, talking with strangers but that's what we're going to break in today's session and hopefully you will help me out to do the same i am a member i am a board member in pre university education coordination committee that's a committee under ieee eab education activities board I am a non-voting member in IEEE Women Engineering Global Committee, and also I am an editor. If you are from India and you are an IEEE member, you must have received my email every month on the tenth day of each month uh, regarding India Council newsletter that is IEEE IC Wani. And I am a mentor, current mentor of IEEE Vault uh, Volunteer Leadership Training Program 2022. It's fine. I know many of the non IEP members are also on the call, and they will be thinking, "Oh, that's all out of syllabus for me." But don't worry, we will be covering a lot of things in today's session. And of course, I am a stage lover and a researcher by chance, by my hobby. So uh, today we will be discussing about a very, like as I mentioned, we will be discussing about design thinking. So the flow of the session is like, what is design thinking? We will be discussing what. and uh, what are the different phases and approaches to design thinking and then we will be discussing some of the tools and resources which i have gathered around while i was preparing for this presentation through different professionals and industries in my connections who are actually uh, daily into design thinking and in the last we will have a good amount of time given to all of you to ask me questions and uh, we will be learning each other like with together that's all so before moving on to this question i would like to invite everyone on camera please can everyone please join me on camera okay there we see thank you pramod okay what about others very quickly it's fine we are also working like i am also working from home everyone is working from home maximum so it's fine which background or whatever you are right now in situation just open it that's all obviously we are some close if you are not wearing <laughs> so that's a different disclaimer but yeah okay thanks punit okay what about others come on let's see your beautiful faces on the camera see without camera this workshop will be kind of very boring and uh, i have a habit like people don't interact with me i often sleep on camera so please be aware of that come on i would love to see uh, many members on the call we have very less amount of audience today but it's good that we can all join on camera okay fine i will go along the way or oh, that's it. there we go thank you kadim sir okay let me open the chat window because now it's the interact interaction time i would like to know yes or no in the chat window how many of you are how many of you think that you are creative yes or no in the chat window yes yes okay yes perfect great oh that's nice okay 
Oh, yes or no? Okay. So you thought as a diplomatic reply, but I was looking for only yes or no. 50-50 you mentioned. Okay, it's fine. Perfect. So I would like to invite every one of you, grab a paper and pen. Grab a pen and paper uh, nearby you. And obviously, I will be requesting you to come on camera once we uh, finish this activity. Please grab a pen paper. Everyone ready? Okay. Can you just uh, say done in the chat window if you have grabbed it? And please uh, join me on camera if you are on phone or if you are on laptop. It would be really um, interactive session. I want to see what you are going to do on that paper now. Okay. We can't see that in the chat window. Okay, perfect. Nice. So what I want you to do now, create a sketch of a baby on the paper quickly. Create a sketch of a baby on that paper. Let me know in the chat window once you're done. And obviously it's not like uh, you won't make it and you will press done in the chat window. This is not the game or not the activity I'm hoping. You have to make it, you have to be interactive. Otherwise, it will be a very boring session for you. Come on, I will give you one minute here. Draw a sketch of a baby. Done? Can I see it done in the chat window if you're done? Not so much like don't think a lot of things like we have to do a that curl or something lines or all those things. Just make a rough sketch of it. That's all. Whatever the best you can do. Don't devote much time. You have only one minute to draw. Okay. Pooja says done. Okay. Done. Sudipta. Okay. Perfect. Now draw a sketch like a bore nearby to that baby. Uh, draw a sketch of a house. Now I, I remember my school days like in our uh, primary school we used to create a okay we will have some mountains on the back and in the front we will have a sun raising like sun rising and in the between we will have a small house from that house we will have a near a river around that <laughs> whatever you think like make a sketch of a house that's all let me know in the chat window once done done okay and the people who are saying done obviously i will request you to come on camera and show me those drawings as well <laughs> Okay, moving ahead. Create a sketch of a door. Create a sketch of a door. Is it done? Okay, Punish said done. Okay. In the house, depends. It's a separate drawing, I'm saying, not a combined one. Obviously, you will make a house, not a without door, right? <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Okay. Let's see more duns in the chat window. Done. Okay. Okay. Perfect. The last step, make a drawing or a sketch of innovation. Make a drawing or a sketch of innovation. Whatever it comes to your mind, just make it. That's all. Now I will request everyone like who have contributed in these drawings, please come on camera. And just show your paper how you draw on that. Yeah. Come on. Let's see. Let's see your creativity. You all mentioned you are creative. So let's see how much creative you are. Okay. So Dipta, I can see you. Okay. That's nice. It's very small, but yeah, we can see that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Anything comes to your mind regarding innovation, Hussein. Anyone else would like to show their drawings? It's fine. I, I'm not giving any marks or something. It's not like that. We will cancel your registration for the conference. Okay. Hey, Pooja. Show me. Okay. I can see the idea bulb. Okay. That's a baby in the house and that's a house. Okay. 
Uh, you can once again, once again. Sorry about that. Yeah. Now you can unmute yourself, Pooja. Go ahead. Just explain your drawing. Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you, Ramnit. It's really great, like uh, doing this creativity after a long time. So this is a baby, a house picture, a door, and the innovation. So I, I, my plan was to combine everything. Okay, that's nice. Nice thought. Thank you, Hussein. You yeah. were saying something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice. So there's a door, there's a baby in the center, house on the right. And where do we have innovation? Uh, just unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Yeah, no innovation. I have not drawn it. Oh, drawn, draw it, draw it right okay. away. Draw it, okay. yeah. Okay, anyone else? Come on, let's see. Debrushi, would you like to contribute here? Now I see a lot of a lot of you have drawn a bulb, like light and bulb, uh, in regards to represent innovation. So that's one of the very common drawing we have seen, right? And if you make a house, you would just create a house in the center, and you will have a small door or the uh, gate on the left hand side, right? Now the sense of doing this activity, right, is that the knowledge or the sense what you have used right now. Only the knowledge or the, I would say the creativity, the level of the creativity, which you have used. That's the creativity you have to use for design thinking. So it's not a rocket science that we are talking today. It's a very basic thing that actually we do daily on our daily basis. And that's what we are going to talk today. Now, this is the definition from Wikipedia. Design thinking refers to the set of cognitive, strategic, and practical procedures used by the designers in the process of designing and to the body of knowledge that has been developed about how people reason when engaging with design problems. Now, I would like to hear from everyone of you in the chat window what you mean by design thinking. It can be one sentence, it can be one word, two words, three words, whatever you think. Just go ahead and sh share it in the chat window. What do you think? What is design thinking? Biomimicry. Oh, that's nice. Ajay, thanks for that. I've heard that word for the first time. Okay. Nice learning. I am also doing it from all of you. Anyone else? What do you think by design thinking? How you visualize a problem statement to break off? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice uh, point of view. Anyone else? Solving a problem by prioritizing the needs. Okay, that's nice. Perfect. It means you are keeping the customer first, Puneet, right? What about others? Come on, it's a very simple. Uh, yes, exactly. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Anyone else? What do you mean by design thinking? Like I'm asking a very simple question. Like maybe you can divide that word into two words and you can think about it, what it can be. And I've already given you the Wikipedia definition. Now you can just, it can be a prototype. Okay. You mean prototype development. Okay. That's nice. Thanks Rushali. So basically, yeah, prior model, the way of representing our thoughts in a simple and clear manner. Okay. Thanks Winkit. So basically like, as as you all are right, there's no as such a specific uh, redirection to the definition. Every single thought, what you are actually getting right now about design thinking, thinking about how attract others through a particular design. Okay, that's nice, Hussein. So, a very uh, nice way to think about design thinking is to ideate and create a prototype and test and repeat. That's all. That's what it's written on the slide deck, right? You have to ideate a pro you you get a problem statement around yourself and you think about it. Okay, this is how I can improve it. These are the different solutions I am I am having right now in my mind. And then you are concentrating on your audience. Okay, who gonna use this? So those are the part of design thinking, and we will be discussing it step to step what it is actually meant. And we will be dividing you all in a breakout rooms as well, so that you can devote one or two minutes to brainstorm on each and every step and come back into the main meeting. Uh, to discuss about that.
okay so i will just quickly explain you on a very high level what are the different design thinking phases okay so very nicely put like the first phase is empathy so you have to understand and listen to your customer many times when we are working on a project right when we are working on a problem statement or finding a solution we don't listen to the other person we are like no i know i know how to implement big data i know about machine learning i know ai why should i listen to you i know the problem that you are facing i will go ahead and implement it right but that's not the that's not the correct way you have to understand and you have to listen first okay listen to your customer cuz their needs their problems and their loopholes what they are facing in the current model okay the second phase second step is insights so to generate a use case catalog out of our customer research so you have you have all the insights now you got the customer experience what are the problems they are facing in the ideate phase and you have the problem statement now you have to create a particular customer journey map or a insight map right insight statement which will actually give you a catalog or a data database of different solutions over which you can ideate and select a single idea or single design or single solution out for that problem statement which you can create a prototype on and then test and improve that's a particular phases of design thinking and in the upcoming slide we will be discuss discussing one by one each every phase uh, in more deep dive so let's see an implementation of design thinking i will be sharing a video on the webex now one second perfect perfect so uh, can anyone please let me know where was the implementation of design thinking in this video you can unmute yourself uh, i have enabled the mute button as well for all of you yeah go ahead staircase staircase okay what do you think like where we implemented design thinking and what was the problem statement and what we focused on what can be multiple solution what is being depicted in the video how to how to make people uh, uh... use the staircase yeah so yeah that's correct and uh, right this is an amazing idea to make people use staircase initiated by volkswagen yeah so that's correct and this is actually the main basic of design thinking whatever problem statement you get in the society right i my whole uh, i would say college days and my school days was all around design thinking and that's where i will be sharing few stories as well step to step uh, how i actually wrote around 16 research paper when i was in my final year till final year and i published my first paper in my 12th class so that was the motivation of me during um, how i can solve problem statement around me and design thinking was a very critical approach which i actually used uh, during those phases so now we will be moving ahead and 
try to understand about uh, the steps one by one and we will be breaking you in the breakout rooms uh, soon after each and every step and we will be inviting you back forth into the main meeting to discuss what you actually um, interviewed each other and what what else yeah so the first step of design thinking is empathy now you all must be having a wallet right wallet or purse so you all use that daily basis now you have to understand let's say like this is the activity what we are going to perform now empathy means to explore the hidden gaps now what are the different uh, loopholes the customer is actually facing in your product in the existing model which is already in the market now you have to understand what kind of uh, loopholes or problems the customer is facing and the second one is you have to understand what why and how of customer problem now if i am facing any issue standing in a long queue in a bus station waiting for my bus for even 40 rupees ticket what is my problem that i am waiting in a long queue it's wasting my time why i should wait like why i'm waiting for it because there's no conductor on the counter to give me the ticket very quickly and how i am facing it i went to the bus station i uh, i stood in the long queue after 2 hours i am getting the ticket i am paying the money and then not even i am like there's a very less probability that i will get my seat as well in the bus because of the crowd so this is how you have to understand in this particular phase and the third one uh, this is very much important and many people actually um, step back onto this thing and they don't actually they, they are not so much open to learn and explore from customers so that is one of the backlog of uh, design thinking that you have to be very care careful about it be open to learn and explore right because they have the problem customer is having the problem you are not having the problem you have to listen them very carefully you should not argue with the customer okay okay you are using this product but maybe you can use that no don't argue that just empathy step is just listen to the customer consume as much as you can and make a bullet point out of that interview or that uh, experience what you had with the customer on the first step okay and the last one uh, this is very much again a very important point many times uh, the like the design thinkers are not so much optimistic or respectful to the decision or to the problem what the customer is facing now maybe a scenario would be uh, someone is non technical like th they are not so much technically sound in using webex right and they will be saying hey where i can find the mute button right people will be laughing on that person but that's not the point we need to be very respectful about it and we need to think from the other point of view oh okay mute button is on the bottom center now i can understand because if person is looking for mute button it should be on the front or somewhere right so that's the design thinking you have to understand from the problem and getting the solution out of it to renovate that design okay now what we are going to do i will stop my sharing again so now we will break out like we will uh, initiate a breakout room among yourself and there will be two people in one single breakout room uh, someone can become a partner a someone can become partner b so partner a can interview partner b for two or three minutes about their problems around wallet okay you use wallet and purse so what kind of gaps or what kind of problems you face so that problem need to be described by partner b to partner a and partner a can ask required question related to wallet and can collect lot of insights about the about the problems that the partner b is having of wallet i i i hope i am clear can i see yes or no in the chat window i hope we are clear with this activity perfect any any doubts so far because now it's up to you now we are going to divide you in the breakout rooms now partner a need to interview partner b and partner b is your customer you have to understand what kind of problems they are getting in their wallet or what kind of design they want to redesign or something right the main step is the first step is empathy so you have to listen to your partner b customer and list down the bullet points as much as possible in a very descriptive in in a very a uh, high level form okay this is the issue this is the issue this is the issue why this is the issue occurring how you are facing this issue okay what why and how got it perfect so let's initiate the breakout room uh bro i am creating total 13 breakout sessions okay we will have two people in one single breakout room yes okay perfect please go ahead and uh, you will have 2 minutes to do this and we will invite you back in the main meeting
perfect go ahead vamsi let me confirm that uh, anyone is missing not a sign oh okay uh and uh, ajay is not having uh, move to i will move to some other session no maybe ajay can stay here with us like i can interview him <laughs> yeah, yeah sure the okay then i'm starting the breakout sessions everyone please join your respective breakout rooms and kick start the activity just have pen and paper and note down the bullet points what you are listening from your partner b on wallet or purse the one which you use daily uh i request everyone to join the ajay you can stay here yes sure sir Okay, I see a few members. Like, uh, maybe uh, Vamsi, you can redirect Ajay to breakout number eleven. Uh, Ajay, you can join that breakout il number eleven, breakout session eleven. We have only one person there. Okay, now we got the second. Okay, good to go. And let me transfer others to other rooms. Sure, and the one which are pending, like maybe we can redirect to them. uh breakout 3 to breakout 1 breakout 2 okay okay breakout 2 we have three people now i'm see no 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 two only joined it's okay. uh, just okay got it and breakout 5 to breakout 8 yeah i request members on the main meeting please uh, join the respective breakout rooms so that uh, you can participate in this activity and again breakout 10 to 12 I hope no one left. No, oh, okay. Breakout twelve has uh, more, one more extra. Perfect. Thank you very much for returning back, and uh, I hope you all have introduced yourself and then collected the feedback, the customer problems, what they were facing regarding their wallet. So anyone from every like on the call anyone would like to share their experience what kind of problems your partner b has faced hi yeah punit go ahead uh, the main problem that you are facing is if we put coin in our purse and if you put that in our bag many a times i used to put my purse in the bag itself so every most of the coins would fall down in the bag itself so i have to search my bag again for the coins and all that was the main problem and another problem is sometimes it feels uncomfortable if you sit while you if you put our purse in the back back side of our bag pant so these were the main two problems one thing was coin problem and uh, it feels uncomfortable if the purse size is too huge okay who you were interviewing or someone was interviewing you we both okay okay you interviewed it, each okay perfect anyone else hey hi pramod here yeah pramod uh, please before i drop off you know from this session i just want to you know uh, give my feedback about this breakout session so i uh, you know i uh, happen to meet with uh, uh, divya or vidya once again i think you know are you there uh, yeah. yes yeah. i am here yes so we we were partners in the breakout uh, room and uh, more than the challenge there were a lot of uh, you know uh, good things about not carrying you know wallet that's what you know, she mentioned of course there is one such thing that uh, currently uh, one of the challenges for not carrying the wallet is that because you know these days uh, digital payment is very popular uh, and you have e wallet and other things of course and you know, even i don't remember when was the last i withdrew cash from the atm right and uh, those days so we used to carry uh, cash in the wallet and every time you know you have to safeguard your wallet from the uh, pickpocketers and all of that <clears throat> so what vidya uh, mentioned uh, i really uh, appreciate that is that 
with the e-wallet thing, with it, with not carrying the wallet, you don't track, keep a track of money that you spend every day, because uh, you know you you use UPI payments for you know even a sm smaller uh, uh, amount of money that you spend, and uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, payments that happen in digital way. Uh, using your, you know, Apple Pay or your Google Pay, Phone Pay, and others, and uh, so you don't keep a track. At least earlier, when you withdrew cash and uh, used to carry the wallet, you had, you know, a, you know, kind of a record in your mind that okay, I have five thousand cash in my wallet, and okay, this is the amount that I've spent. I have, you know, th this much of money left with me, right? So that is one. Otherwise, uh, I mean, I I completely uh, agree, and also I'm on the same page with Vidya that. These days, uh, hardly anybody carries wallet except they have an expensive wallet. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Pramod and Vidya, for your experience. Anyone else would like to share the last experience from anyone? Yeah. So I want to share, Ramnik. Yeah. So myself and um, uh, Mohammed had a discussions on this. So you you understand um, wallet is not just like a like a usage for for most of the ladies, it's a fashion, right? But at the same point of time, we would like to carry a smart wallet kind of thing. So when I say that the smart wallet, I want my all of the physical instrument which I'm carrying along with me, that should be smartly secured. So um, uh, in, in our discussions, Muhammad suggested um, uh, me to approach for a solution where we can have the digital wallet and all those things. but. I do have a concern, even if I'm not, I as a consumer, I'm not very comfortable on the digital wallet because uh, because most of the times uh, the GPay or Amazon Pay or which is very popular in India, there is an, and there is a necessity of, or most often we see that the identity is being theft across all this payment gateway. So we were having a discussions and uh, on that, Front and Mohammed suggested to have a cryptographic solution towards the payment gateway so that we can have a more secure uh, transaction. But uh, <clears throat> I accept his solution. But one point I think uh, which we need to check it out because as we are moving towards a cloud based solution in every technology, uh, the payment gateway option is also getting transferred towards cloud. And the security in cloud works in totally different way than the than our regular solutions. So how cryptographic encryption decryption is going to work out in the cloud that I as a consumer or customer, I have a concern on that. So that is where we ended up the discussions. Perfect. That's that's uh, very elaborative and nice uh, insights what he must have got from you. So thank you for that. Uh, now. Now, I believe uh, many of you have now understood the first step, right? How empathy works. Now, the second step, which need to be done alone as a partner A or as a partner B, you can think of your own problems, right? Of using uh, wallet. Now, the second step of design thinking is insights. So insights is equal to customer journey map. Now, there are four phases that you have to um, include in insights that is what what was your customer experience, right? Of using a wallet, that past experience I'm talking about, what kind of uh, emotional touch points or pains they are having while using their wallet and how they feel and went through that pain. You may elaborate in a very bulleted point, like, okay, this is what I, I feel that it's very, um, like as um, Punita also mentioned, like the coins actually get fall in the bag itself if I put my wallet in the bag. so such kind of emotional touch points and how they feel about it. Are they frustrated? Are they happy about using the current model of wallet they are using? And the overall pictures with any idea which comes to your mind. You don't need to judge your idea. You just need to mention, okay, this is can be done, this can be done, this can be done to target this particular emotional touch point the what your customer is facing. And again, that's what you don't put your ideas, ask them what they want. So that's what you already have discussed in the first step, empathy. Now I would request every one of you to, on the paper which you are using since the first step, write down these four points. And under each point, you mention your bullet points, whatever you have gained from the customer's interview. We will be stopping here for 
two to three minutes and I will be giving time to you so that you can write uh, required remarks on each question. Go ahead. Okay, so like in this particular step, you must have gained uh, what kind of different issues your customer is facing and you will have number of solutions now in your paper, right? And now you will be having like, okay, these are the different type of emotional touch point which my customer is facing and how I can cover those. Now you don't have to brainstorm. Again, I'm repeating this because this is very much important to understand. Insights is not about thinking and brainstorming. That is the next step that what we are going to cover now. Ideation. Now you have list down number of the solution, you have list down number of the problems what your customer has faced for using a wallet, right? Now in ideation, you don't need to judge yourself, okay? Go for the volume. Let's understand like, okay, now I am thinking this idea can be one, this can idea can be one. Just list down those things in a very elaborated way. Now you have the bullet point what your customer problem is and in parallel to that you have the very high level idea. Now you have to explain each and every solution in a very elaborated way like one or two sentence that's all. And be visual as much as possible. It's not required that you're going to write a lot of paragraphs in your paper. You can make a visual of a wallet. Okay this is how it, the wallet should look like. This is how my wallet should be smart enough. So that's what you have to concentrate on. And specifically this is very much important in ideation. You have number of solution, but when you are thinking of one solution, you have to be thinking on that solution only. Have one conversation at your in your mind at a time. Okay, this is what I can have uh, sensors on my wallet so that I can, if I forget somewhere, so I can like like kind of a air tag, right? Apple air tag solution that you can also think about. But you have to list down all the solution right away, and you have to think one by one. Stay on the topic. Don't divert yourself from the topic you know what your customer is facing with and you know the challenges and limitations as well. The customer doesn't want a complete digital wallet, right? It doesn't want the complete smart wallet, the regular wallet which you use physically. You have to stay on the topic and encourage wild ideas. Whatever comes to your mind. Okay, I can deploy AI, I can deploy ML, blah, 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 blah. Anything. Many people like many students when I give this session to students and then say, Sir, I don't know about AI ML. How can I implement that into my project and prototype? See, that's not the phase right now to think about it. Ideation is all about what you can implement. And in the next phases, you can try to learn those things by Googling or by getting on to free courses and different tools and resources are available across the internet, right? You can learn those things and step by step, you will try to get into the prototype development, which is the next step. So I will give you a few minutes here more uh, so that you can ideate on a single idea or a number of the solution which you have already listed down from the customer's interview and from the past uh, step. And I will be calling a few people on the call as well to so that they can show me or they can read me what they have written uh, in this ideation phase. Okay, let's wait for one or two minutes and then we will kick start to the next step. Anyone who have jotted down the solution or the idea of that particular wallet pain points uh, which your customer was facing, how you can innovate, how you can recreate the design of the wallet. Anyone would like to share it? Go ahead and uh, unmute yourself. Okay, we'll wait for one or two minutes. I believe you are still working on it. And please, uh, as I mentioned, please don't judge your idea. Let it be there on the paper. Whatever you think that is like coming into your mind, just sketch it out, that's all. But this is very important, uh, what should I say? It's a limitation of a human being, I don't know. Uh, undergrad students mainly face this. Uh, they are tend to 
achieve the perfection but perfection is nothing it will come one by one like once you discuss with your customer you get the real time feedback okay this is what i am thinking what do you think about it do you think any improvement can be done yeah so that can be roll back and it can be a loop of feedback yeah hussein you are done would you like to share your idea uh, yeah, uh, yeah. ramnik uh, we discuss we had discussed two problems uh, the customer wanted uh, to have a physical wallet that must be secure uh, and um, must uh, from being snatched away or anything like that and the second problem was uh, uh, suppose if you are using digital wallets uh, those digi uh, digital wallets like uh, 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 google pay and phone pay all those things that must be secure so uh, uh, the main uh, pain point was that uh, uh, the customer was fearing uh, of uh, theft either digital theft or physical wallet theft uh, uh, the customer wanted uh, to uh, have some solution for more security. So uh, uh, my idea was the first one was uh, to uh, digitally register a physical wallet through any code uh, and uh, uh, through any app in your mobile. And in the case of theft, uh, you might get uh, you you might be able uh, um, might be able to um, inform or report the digital company with which you are registered, and that information might also go to the investigative authorities, uh, so that it can be uh, 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 recovered back and uh, some uh, way to also. Uh, uh, keep check about uh, whether anything has been is, is is missing from that wallet. The second problem was that of digital wallet. If, if we are using digital wallet, how to make it more secure? For that, uh, I think that there are many cryptographic algorithms for uh, uh, encrypting the any message that is going uh, uh, that we are sending. For uh, for that. Uh, uh, the solution might be to have some advanced cryptographic algorithms. In in, in cloud also, cloud uh, uh, that was also a problem. Uh, the customer was concerned about uh, everything is uh, um, now shifting towards cloud. So how uh, how to tackle that challenge? So cloud is also uh, um, is not something uh, that uh, we must be fearing. It is also a kind uh, of server that uh, uh, which is which are being provided uh, to us to store some information and uh, uh, to make some analytics uh, uh, do some analytics also over there so that also requires uh, internet and uh, uh, through internet all only uh, we are sending some information there also uh, cryptographic algorithms might work these are okay. the solutions yeah. That's great, Hussein. Uh, and this is actually what we were talking about. And uh, we need to think from the customer's point of view. Customer should be our first one. And that's how you beautifully put it together. And uh, thanks, thanks, Hussein, for your insights. Anyone thanks. else? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I want to add something. Yeah, Bamsi, go ahead. Yeah. I had a discussion with Prenta and Murli. Actually, they are discussing on how to reduce the wallet size as it's a. Uh, Okay, so my actually even I have four ATM cards with me. So why don't we make a one universal ATM card where we can select the bank where to withdraw? So that's the solution. Oh, so basically, you are like not reducing the size Oops. of the wallet. You are reducing the resources no, no, no. which are even in the wallet. If we size the wallet, if we reduce the size of wallet, it may not be useful for us. So why don't we have a universal ATM card or universal ID card? I mean, we are having other card. Why don't they, when they search the other number and got the details of driving license and all those things? Okay, that's nice. Perfect. Thank you, Vamsi. And thank you, both of you. I don't remember. Uh, Murli and the other one was? Pranika. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys, for... Yeah, Puneet, go ahead.
Hi, the basically the problem which I told was the one was the coin problem that the coil will fell off and it takes some time to search the coins in the bag. And another was it feels uncomfortable if the wallet becomes thick. So for the like what are the main issues where you're facing is in 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 uh, some cloud or com clumsy places. If you want to give some coins, then we have to keep on searching our bag. Then it takes time. So it feels uncomfortable in the cloud and com clumsy places. So what we can do is we can implement a zip or something like that to prevent a coin to fall off from a uh, purse. So you can see there is no no way to prevent a coin. If you use it, simply the coin will fall off. That's the main thing. Another thing was we can reduce the size of the purse. We can implement, we can design a purse in such a way that it feels uncomfortable if a user uses the purse. And another thing we can do is we can implement address of a person you know apart from let's say if in the if we if we speak in terms of purse apart from money the most of things will be keeping credit cards debit cards and the pan cards and all those things in money if you keep around 500 to 300 rupees that's the maximum money if i, I will keep in the wallet apart from everything will be in the upi payment itself the main thing was the our cards other card and all those credit cards if we lost then it will be difficult for us to recover those cards then we have to go for bank then we are going to apply for the new cards it will be tedious for us what we can do is we can implement a uh, user should be this it contains all the phone number and the address of the user so if someone phones that first they can return that by calling them and we can also implement it would be expensive but we can implement the location tag so that a user can track if he has lost that person somewhere places and all so this was the main thing okay so the main thing was the contact information of a person okay now that's that's very nice because if someone has taken your wallet by mistake or by thief or like any any thief would have still the purse you should have a direct address okay this is the address yeah. of the contact or tracking method where you can track your wallet yeah, yeah many times good. what happens now if we come and sit in the auto then what a wallet will automatically fall off in the auto seat itself so money is not a problem if, if we lost 300 500 rupees that's okay but if we lost our debit card credit card and other cards then it will be more the cards are more precious than 200 to 300 rupees that's the main thing that's true thank you puneet thank so you. Yeah, that's that's what we were talking about. And thank you so much for engaging yourself into these activities because this is very uh, important skill that you should learn. Being an engineer, uh, being a non-engineer as a well, non-technical guy, because we see problem statement around non-technical aspects as well, right? Wallet is one of them. Now, after ideation, we get the step prototyping. So prototyping is nothing like it's it's not more about doing a complete product out of it. Prototyping is only the minor version of the idea of what you have proposed, right? Maybe it can be you are saying like we can reduce the size of the wallet. You can form a prototype or a design on some of the designing tool online or something, right? That can be a prototype. Now, the thing is you have the chance to fail as much as possible in the prototyping phase. Now, why so? Because you are actually attached and collaborating, collaborating about your idea with your customer. So you can go with your customer again and again and you have to just ask for the feedback. That's what prototyping is all about. You have to go with the customer, okay, you will say, okay, this is the prototype which I am proposing you to you. What kind of feedback you have now? Like I have focused on your first pain point, you have focused on the second pain point, third pain point and all the stuff. And please don't worry about the best model. It's let, let it be on the customer side, right? Let customer speak. I have done my best to provide you the solution. Now, let me hear from you what you think that what could be the best model out of it? What kind of improvements I can do in this prototype? And the last one is get only available resources and around to build your first model. Now, this is very much important point for maximum of the students around uh, around the globe when they say me that I don't know about AI, ML and some other technologies what they're going to use in pro prototype development. Now, the sense is any resource which is available around you go ahead and take it up grab the opportunity whatever is coming on to your way now let me share your story uh, it it was uh, it's it's a real story which happened with me and i was in my third year it was fab 2018 and my mathematics exam was there and uh, the head of department of electronic communication uh, engineering department he called me up now i am a pure computer science engineer and 
he was the HOD of electronics department. So he called me up and he was saying, Ramnik, you come up on the third floor. I want to talk you with someone. And I was like, okay, sir, I will come. And then he handed over to me the phone and he was like, uh, who's that on the call, right? So uh, he, he was like, he's the director of All India Radio Office, New Delhi. And I was like, oh, I am a third year student and you're making me talk with the director of All India Radio Office. So I talked with the director, sir, and he mentioned, Ramnik, we want a student who can develop a software for our accounts department. Now, I thought, okay, this is a very good chance that I can grab some government project in my BTEC time itself. And then I went to the office after my college time on that day. And uh, I was in director room. There were around three to four accountants sitting in front of me. Now, the challenge being a student, being an engineer, not graduated engineer, but being an engineering student, I was following the design thinking approach only. I was like, okay, let me listen to those accountants, what are kind of problems they are facing. And then I will proceed to provide number of the solution, number of the pain points where I can target them, what kind of solution I do have for each and every single uh, backlog they do have in their existing model. Now, I was shocked to see that they were using Excel sheets and um, pen and paper registers for maintaining their stock and salary and all the stuff. So that's where my computer science mindset actually came up. And then I shown them, okay, this is how I can do that. This is how I can automate your manipulation of salary distribution. This is how I, I can uh, get the da data from like, once you enter into the software, it will get into the database and it will reflect in, in this way on the software UI. So. I just listened them and then I provided the number of the solution and the prototyping phase. I will tell you, it took around me four to five months for completing this product and deploy into their office. Now, why so? Because prototyping phase is only the most consuming, time consuming phase where you go back again and again to the customer asking them, okay, this is what I propose. Can you please let me know what's the improvement in this particular module? Now you're not talking about whole project with them. You're talking about module to module. So you have to be more, you have to be in approach that customer won't get confused with your prototype, the first model, whatever you are bringing to them. You have to just show, okay, this is the UI. What do you think about the UI? Now, if UI is approved, then we can go to the backend, right? That's how the software architecture development I did. So that's the phase of prototyping. I hope you understood by that particular story, uh, how design thinking actually works in real time. And the last step that we have to focus on, test and improve. Again, that's a part of prototyping. Now we, we don't have a chance. We don't have a permanent chance to go back. Now, what I used to, uh, learn from this way, like there's a two way, uh, two decision methods. Like one is one way door decision. Like you can take the decision, but you can't return back that decision. You can't undo that. Right. And there's a two way door decision. You can take the decision and it's very comfortably that you can revert that decision and uh, re-modify your model. So test and improve step. It actually is a feedback loop. You, once the product is deployed to the customer side, you have to be responsible and honor of your own idea. Obviously if I am deploying one product in all India radio office or somewhere, wherever I have deployed my project, I need to be, um, I need to be honor of that particular idea, right? Because that's my idea. I know the backend architecture and all the stuff. So you have to be strict towards the maintenance of that product as well. Now it can be a different chance being a, like you have to, uh, many times you see, right? Lot of online shopping websites like Amazon, Flipkart, any, any shopping website, if you take, or any, uh, product, if you take online product, they do have a customer helpline number. Why so whole company is actually depending upon how you are caring about your customer. And that's where the phase test and improve comes. With that, uh, these were the different phases of design thinking. And uh, these are the, some of the tools and resources which you can use for designing, for designing the prototyping, for listing down your solution and ideation. We have MiroBoard, that's an open source uh, portal. Canva, which we commonly use for prototyping, designing, poster designing, and all the stuff. We have Jamboard, that's a product by Google, which you can use down to sketch uh, rough ideas and rough uh, prototype. GitHub, GitHub is, I, I guess many of you are well aware about it. It's a portal where you can collaborate with your teams and work on software projects uh, and obviously hardware project, wherever you want to put your collaboration and a project board. 
we have battery figma and jira so these kind of different tools and resources which many of the industries use for design thinking approach uh, you may take a screenshot of it but we will provide you the recording after the session and you can take a look onto these websites for your exposure to design thinking approach with that thank you so much for listening to me uh, it was really nice uh, interaction with all of you it was a very short uh, not but short but i hope you got to create new friends today on the call and you may have exchanged linkedin profiles with each other these are my handles where you can approach me and uh, please stay updated with the returning mothers conference uh, social media because we are coming up with a lot of workshops in the upcoming days virtually as well as in person in odisha if you are nearby to odisha please feel free to stop by and register for the conference and join us at the physical space at uh, kiit uh, bhubaneswar odisha campus now i will stop here and i will be opening the floor for any questions if you have it can be questions it can be a feedback as well what do you think about the workshop and what can be improved and because i am also learning along the way this is not the way like i i don't stop my learning in public speaking because that's one of my favorite hobby to do so whatever you think feedback or any questions you want to ask me feel free to share on the mic let me share my linkedin profile as well in the chat window for quick access there you go so everyone is clear with it, what we have discussed today because that's what entrepreneurs like that's what the entrepreneurship track is all about talking in redanim of this conference do we have any doubts yes or no in the chat window please okay with that i believe you are clear clear about the topic what we have discussed or you haven't got anything from the workshop there can be two options only but yeah thank you so much for listening me and taking out time to join us yeah punit uh, i have a question yeah so if we have some idea related to entrepreneurship in the college days itself how can we approach to implement in the future like in college we'll be having so many internal cement exams and assignment and so also so how can we approach for the betterment of the idea so uh, i have been facing the same issue like when i was in my first semester uh, i was in my library i was standing for two periods or like two hours three hours i was coming back going back to the class for getting my library card and uh, i was frustrated how the librarian was writing down my roll number in the register and giving me the uh, library card so i was like i was so frustrated and i was irritated by the method they were using the conventional method i went to the librarian and asked him sir don't we have a software where i can just mention my roll number and i get the library card printed so that's where he told me no we don't have any software ramnik so i was like okay let me go ahead and uh, to whom i need to talk to which faculty member i need to talk so he mentioned go to the hod of csc department now the thing was now wherever you are doing the project in your college like any subject or like let's say you are learning java in your third semester or something right you have learned something new in your curriculum now after implementing a project you have to understand kind of methods to save that idea first okay the first step should be saving your intellectual property now that can be done through a patent filing that can be done through a research paper publishing or that can be done through a copywriting so these are the three methods which you can use being in undergrad school or post grad if you are working on a project and you want to secure your idea that's the first step okay because so no one can steal or no one any other company can steal your idea they will ask your permission if you want to sell it out the second thing uh, once you join industry right or you can just pitch in front of the incubator cells there are a lot of incubation cells across uh, india as well as across globe a lot of industries are sponsoring that particular project funding so you submit your idea proposal to them they will give you a free funding to uh, patent filing and publish it or in pitch in front of the investor or the company they are collaborating with for that particular fund opportunity so that is only the one way which i am well aware about it and i believe that is the best way for a college student to get started with i hope that answers your query punit yeah thank you ramnik
thank you perfect if we don't have any other questions thank you so much for listening me and uh, have a nice day ahead we have already shared the returning mothers conference website and i hope you already have registered please ask your colleagues and friends to join us in physical space if they are available nearby to odisha or join us virtually on the links which we will be sharing soon once the registration is closed please take care bye bye